Assalamu alaikum. Hello. Welcome to our next topic in the pharmacotherapy uh, discussion. Today you are going to cover uh, heart failure pharmacotherapy. In heart failure pharmacotherapy, we will be uh, interested to cover uh, acute and chronic heart failure, um, the management of each and the therapeutic consideration and the clinical benefit of the agents, monitoring issues and um, the drug therapy assessment consideration in patients with heart failure. As a definition, heart failure refers to the inability of the heart to meet the metabolic demands of the body or the ability to meet this demand but at higher than normal feeling pressure means harder work has to be done sometimes this clinical condition happen as a consequence of structure or physiological abnormality happen in the tissue heart failure as a presentation can be acute cases or in, in the pharmacotherapy reference book most of the time we refer to acute decompensated heart failure ADHF or a chronic heart failure means on a chronic basis the patient will be uh, managed and this one will be further classified uh, we'll discuss later with respect to the damage happen in the cardiac tissue we can further classify patients with chronic heart failure according to the degree of damage happened so if the damage will be a bit severe that the left ventricular ejection fraction will be less than 40 percent less than 40 percent we will have what we uh, named as heart failure with reduced ejection fraction and this may be perhaps the majority of, of cases will be under this category and if the left ventricular ejection fraction is still above 50 percent so we in this category can be named as heart failure with reserve ejection fraction still 50 percent or more is good or the latest classification have also incorporated in between a heart failure with mid-range mid-range ejection fraction between 41 to uh, 49 previously this category was was just under the reduced ejection fraction now it is a, a separate uh, class or separate category the primary symptoms in patients with heart failure can be uh, presented as dyspnea or fatty edema the bilateral edema due to the fluid load or the fluid accumulation in the body the heart is unable to 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 bump effectively so the fluid being or tend to be accumulated or the exercise, exercise intolerance compared to uh, the normal condition. One of the important functional classification for patients with heart failure according to how severe uh, the heart failure and how it does affect the activity, the normal activity, we have the New York Heart Association that classification class one to four according to the degree of the limitation and also the the mortality in one year you can see here in one year mortality in class four where the heart is no longer able to support the body to perform any physical activity the mortality rate can be up to 50 percent so before proceeding to discuss in details the pharmacotherapy of heart failure, uh, it is important to highlight that prevention is a primary objective, especially in three categories of patients. First, the patients who are at high risk to develop cardiac disease, like maybe diabetes, hypertension, smokers, obesity, or patients who have a cardiac disease but not yet a damage happened to the cardiac tissue no myocardial infarction so this patient also need to be uh, focused how we gonna to prevent heart failure from happening or at the worst case scenario we have patient with impaired myocardial infarction but not yet to develop symptomatic heart failure which called in some reference asymptomatic left ventricular dysfunction so pertaining to goal of therapy we have list of goal of therapies 
that can be targeted in patients with heart failure. Of course, in the very beginning, as we mentioned, we want to modify, we want to control the risk factor that can be modified, okay, modifiable risk factor, eliminate the symptoms, prevent or minimize the sodium and water retention and its relation to the fluid accumulation and the cardiac load. The structural heart disease, if there, need to be managed. Morbidity and mortality with all the related factors and the slow progression of the worsening of the cardiac function, especially in patients with reduced ejection fraction at time of heart failure. So here we start to discuss how the management of acute heart failure would be. Let us maybe highlight first the normal, the normal state where the patient is warm and dry. This normal perfusion, the blood perfusion to the tissue, to the organ is adequate. We have no problem. Fluid status, no congestion, no fluid accumulation, and of course, no medication needed in this case. What the possibility of abnormality can happen? can happen in one, here, or here, or both. Let us see the first possibility, warm and wet. Warm and wet, the perfusion has no issue, but the fluid status, there is congestion, there is a fluid accumulation in the body, the heart is not able to clear. So in the management, we use some medication that help to clear the fluids. Of course, in the first place, diuretics, Vasodilator can be added on according to the need, uh, and inotropes has nothing to do. Next, we have the possibility that the issue is in the perfusion, not the fluid status. Means the perfusion is poor, fluid status, no issue, no congestion, no fluid accumulation. No accumulation means no diuretic. And uh, of course, the vasodilator, it depends on the blood pressure because. Perfusion pool means the PP is, is, is common, commonly to be too low. In this case, the inotropes will be the main agent to be used. The third possibility or abnormality can happen when both are affected. Means the perfusion is poor, the fluid accumulation is there, and in this um, category, the management include diuretic to address this one, include inotropes to address this one, and the vasodilators will be add on according to the blood pressure monitoring in the case. So coming to the next point, how this medication would be offered, in which sequence? So this table provides the answer. This, the initial management, we have the diuretics and nitrates, oxygen and morphine, and C. If the patient is still not responsive, so the diuretics as a continuous infusion, continue nitrates with low dose dopamine and probable use of dobutamine, if the peripheral hypoperfusion is there, can be offered. Reassess and see if the patient is not responsive and the SPP is less than 100, not more than 100 like here, less than 100. So we have to use potent vasoconstrictor, no adrenaline and the conventional dosing at dopamine can be there to help to increase the, the PP. Along with some consideration of the devices, intra-aortic balloon pump, ventricular assist devices also can be tried in this uh, category. So the last point we want to highlight in heart failure, the treatment algorithm. In acute heart failure, the treatment algorithm will be just maybe typical to the four classification we have highlighted before. We have to assess the, the, the in underlying problem, whether this condition or perfusion, and see the blood pressure, which will affect which medication to be offered. In this category, for example, the cold and dry, when we have the problem with the perfusion, which is, is an inadequate, the fluid challenge can be done. If, if not improve, and the SPP less than 100, so in it drops, and we assess. Okay, the other category where we have maybe some sort of congestion is there. After assessing the blood pressure, we have to think about using diuretics, 
and uh, if SPP less than one, 100 inut crops and then coming to diuretics at the normal pathway if not improved after diuretics we have also to look at the SPP is less of more than 100 or less than 100 to see whether the vasodilatory along with diuretics or the inotropes can be offered and you have the possibility if improved okay so it can continue if not improved so you have again to come to see whether the SPP is not improved and less than 100 so in this case what you are going to offer and the SPP more than 100 and in this case the diuretics with continu continuous infusion, a low dose dopamine, and nitrates, and thiazide, all are options here to, to, uh, to improve the status and continue to uh, the oral medication. Of course, this patient is the worst prognosis where you want to cover for most likely it will be ventilated, uh, uh, a hypoxia and acidosis could be managed because likely in this uh, most likely in these cases